So let us take a few more questions and answers on software engineering. The courtesy and copyright is from tutorialpoint.com. So the first is what is computer software? What do we mean by a software? A computer software is a complete package uh, which includes software program, its documentation, user guide, and how to use the software. Say in your class when you are doing engineering or any uh, similar course, you are uh, asked to write a factorial program. Do you think this is a software? No, it will not be a software. Because a complete software or a computer software is a complete package. Not only a function or a program, set of program. And also it has documentation, proper documentation, proper user guide. And user guide and documentation on how to use the software and details. Can you differentiate computer software and computer program? A computer program is a piece of programming code as we just saw which performs a well-defined task. Whereas, software includes programming code, documentation, and user guide. So, your software, which is code also, plus your documentation, all these makes a computer software. What is software engineering? Software engineering is an engineering approach, engineering branch associated with software system development. When you know programming, what is the need to learn software engineering concepts? When you are aware of the programming, just go and code. Why is it necessary to learn the software engineering subject or concepts? A person knows how to show to build a wall may not be good at building an entire house. Likewise, in a similar fashion, a person who can write programs or a code may not have knowledge of other concepts of software engineering. The software engineering concepts guide programmers on how to assess requirements of the end user first of all, then design the algorithm before actual coding, then create programs by coding which is based on the design, and then testing the code and every time making the documentation, keeping view of the quality of the system, and then also if the software is delivered then the maintenance part. This all is uh, the important aspect of our software engineering concept. Let me tell you that how this software engineering concept has come into picture. What happened? Generally people used to do this only. What, what a simple programming means. So you make program, then if you have provided a project or given a project, there will be a cost overrun, there will be a time overrun, and uh, the maintenance, once the software is delivered, maintenance is costing uh, more than 40% of the money. So these problems has led us or led the, the experts and people, software people to devise mechanism to apply the engineering approach to the software, that is software engineering. What is software process or SDLC, software Develop development life cycle? Software process or software development life cycle, SDLC. SDLC or software process is the systematic development of software by following or adopting every stage in the development process namely first we start with the feasibility requirement if feasibility is already done you know that software can be made then the requirement gathering is performed followed by the system analysis then design then coding then testing then maintenance and also the documentation all in order. What are SDLC models available? There are plenty of SDLC models available. Right from the waterfall to agile, there are various. So, few of them are waterfall model, iterative model, and uh, spiral model, V model, big bang model, etc. Now, what are various phases of software process on SDLC? There are generic phases of SDLC as we just discussed in the previous question. First is requirement gathering. SAD that is, that is system analysis and design. And design. Then coding, then testing and then finally implementation. So the phases depend upon the model we choose to develop software. Because if we choose a, say a rapid application development, RAD model. Or we choose the rational, um, say RUP, rational unified model. So what uh, what you are going to do? What phases are you going to adopt? So the phases in RAD is inception. Start with inception. 
RUP has uh, some other phases, but all in all, the phases are somewhat similar or equivalent to the basic uh, waterfall models. Next is which SDLC model is the best? Now this totally depends on the situation. For for uh, requirement, like if you are aware of the problem, if you understand the requirement well, or your your requirements are clear, some other model may be uh, suitable for you. Or if uh, the ideas or the requirement is not even known to your user, it's a new project, it's a new thing, then the model you can is uh, different. Now on web based systems, web or internet, the software or which are uh, known as the web based softwares, for those systems, the models will be different. So SDL models are adopted as per the requirements of the development process. So it may vary, vary software to software, ensuring which model is suitable. This is the this is the task of the you know software people like manager etc to devise and to find out and to conclude which model is best for the software development. So we can select the best SDLC model if the following answers are satisfied. Like if SDLC is suitable for selected technology to implement the software. Is this uh, SDLC appropriate for client's requirement and priorities? Is SDLC model suitable for the size and complexity of the software? Because you know, if the size and complexity is high, you cannot use uh, lower level models. You have to go to spiral and you know that kind of model which which handles the large, large and complex softwares. Is the SDLC model suitable for type of projects in engineering we do? Is the SDLC appropriate for the geographically co-located or dispersed developer? The next is what is software project management? Software project management. Now, SPM or software project management is a process of managing all activities like time, cost, quality. Uh, this quality management, which is involved in the software development, managing the software in terms of time, cost, and quality. What is software project manager? Who is software project manager? A software project manager is the person who undertakes the responsibility, uh, responsibility of carrying out the software project. He is the key person who manages all these, all these, along with the staffing, along with various resources. So, who does take the responsibility of carrying out the software project? He is software project manager. Next is what does software project manager do? So, his responsibility is varied. Means number of uh, activities are there for software project manager. So, software project manager is engaged in software management activities. So he is responsible for project planning, monitoring the process, communication or communicating among the stakeholders, managing risks and resources, smooth execution of development, and delivering the project within time, cost, and with the quality constraints. Next is what is software scope? Software scope. Software scope is a well-defined boundary which encompasses all the activities that are done to develop and deliver the software product. The software scope clearly defines all the functionalities and the artifacts to be delivered as a part of the software. So the scope identifies what the product will do, what it will not do, what the end product will contain, and what it will not contain. So what it will do, or what it will not do, what it contain, what it, can, it will not contain. These are these, these are uh, carried out or uh, mentioned in the software scope. What is project estimation? Project estimation. It is a process to estimate various aspects of software product in order to calculate the cost of development in terms of effort, time, and resources. So, time, efforts, and resources. So, this estimation can be uh, derived from past experience or by consulting uh, experts or by using the predefined formula. We have empirical formulas, quantitative uh, matrix, or this can be used. How can we derive the size of the software product? You know, when the product is ready, you can easily count the line of code, or there is function point based uh, metric also. The size of software product can be calculated using either of the two methods. First, you can count the lines of the delivered code. You can count, or you can count the delivered function points. So, KLSUI, line of code, or FP function points. What are function points? Function points are the various features provided by the software product. So it is considered as a unit of measurement of software size. What are software project estimation techniques available? Uh, there are many te estimation techniques available. The most widely used are decomposition technique, that is 
counting line of code and function points empirical technique like putnam and kokomo and uh, this there are two we have seen decomposition technique for estimation empirical technique for estimation allo cn a function point belongs to decomposition technique putnam and kokomo belongs to empirical technique what is a baseline the baseline is a measurement that defines completeness of a phase baseline is like just like a milestone milestone so there are various phases what is complete we say that this is complete so this we talk about the Um, base so after all activities associated with a particular phase are accomplished the phase is complete and acts as a baseline baseline for the next phase what is scm software configuration management or we can also call it as a software chain management so the software configuration management is the process of tracking and controlling so is a process of tracking and controlling the changes in the software in terms of requirement design function development of the product so it deals with the changes what is change control change control is uh, an objective or the function of configuration management so which ensures that all changes made to software system are consistent and made as per organization rules and regulation next is uh, how can you measure project execution we can easily measure project execution by activity monitoring status reports milestone checklists so these are various uh, aspects or the measures like activity monitoring status reports and milestone checklist mention some project management tools there are various project management tools uh, as used as per the requirement of software project and organization uh, policy so they do the gantt chart the pert chart the resource histogram the critical path analysis the status report the milestone checklist status report all these are the project management tools what are software requirements Software requirements are functional description of proposed software system. Software requirements are functional description of proposed software systems, and requirements are assumed to be description of target system, its functionalities and features. So requirements convey the expectation of users from the system. So requirements are maybe functional and non-functional, and uh, with certain constraints also. What is feasibility study? Feasibility of anything is whether it is possible or not, or whether it is worthwhile. means uh, is it better to do it rather than buying it or is it better not to do it in some certain other way or is it actually we we need to start or not so it is a measure to assess how practical and beneficial the software project development will be for an organization the software analyzer um, conducts a thorough study of uh, to understand the economic technical and operational feasibility of the project economic resource transportation cost of training cost of additional utilities and to us an overall estimation of cost and benefits of the project these are all called the these all concern of feasibility study mm. then technical it is possible is it possible to develop this system what we are talking about is we have seen that uh, a software analyzer conducts through uh, a study to understand economic technical and operational so in economic we have all this like resource transportation cost of training cost of material utilities and tools and overall estimation of cost and benefits of the project while in the case of technical all these three has needs to be done technical means is it possible to develop this system that is assessing the suitability of machines and uh, operating systems on which this software will execute existing developer knowledge and skills training utilities or tools for project operational means can the organization adjust smoothly to the changes done as per the demand of project is the problem worth solving okay. so these are few questions on software engineering the content is from tutorialpoints.com we'll be taking one more session of this till then thank you so much take care